We give you our three best bets for week nine of college football, and it all starts right now. What's up, Grandstand Betters family? It's Matt from GrandstandBetters.com, and we are back with our college football plays for week number nine. We'll get to those in just a moment, but first, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button for all our free picks, predictions, and contests throughout the entire season. And while you're at it, smash that like button for another fun-filled Saturday of top 25 matchups. I know where we are, so without further ado, let's dive in to this week's matchup and start with a big one in the 12 p.m. Eastern time slot, and that is number two, Ohio State, taking on number 13, Penn State. Now, Ohio State favored by 14 and a half points at the moment, over under set at 60.5. Ohio State Buckeyes, they are 7 0 on the season. They have been destroying teams each and every week. After their week one win against Notre Dame, the closest game they have had so far this season was against Michigan State a couple weeks ago, and they still won that game by 29 points. Now, the biggest part of their success this season has definitely been their offense. C.J. Stroud has thrown the ball for over 2,000 yards and 28 touchdowns. He is first in college football in that stat, and the next closest guy after him is Drake May with 24. With his wide receivers, it has been virtually impossible for defenses to stop this passing attack, and it's even harder to stop this offense as a whole if you factor in the Buckeyes' rushing attack. Behind Williams and Henderson, they have put up 204 rushing yards per game and averaged 6.5 rushing yards per carry. Together, this offense has put up 49.6 points per game, which makes it hard enough for opposing teams to beat them. But to be fair to them, they also have a great defense as well. Behind a very solid secondary, this defense only given up 239 yards per game, which is second in college football, and they're only giving up 14.9 points per game. An even more impressive stat is they're only giving up four yards per play. Now on the other side of the field, the Penn State Nittany Lions, they're 6-1 on the season with their only loss coming against Michigan. They actually led that game 14-13 but were outscored 25-3 in the second half. Although you have put up solid numbers, Penn State, the offense and defense production is still nowhere near what Ohio State puts up. Through seven games, quarterback Sean Clifford has only thrown for 1,400 yards and 13 touchdowns. Now, they do have a great pair of wideouts in Parker Washington and Mitchell Tinsley, but after that, there's a serious drop-off to their next best wide receiver. The even bigger area of concern for Penn State is their defense, their rank. 62nd overall, 79th in pass defense, and 62nd in run defense. Although they have been great in the red zone and made some big stops this season, they're giving up a ton of yardage between the 20s. Hopefully they watched film of Michigan beating Ohio State last year because the key to beating that team is getting pressure on Stroud. Unfortunately, they have failed to do so uh, against other teams this season. They have only 15 sacks on the year, and unless they can generate a pass rush, it's going to be a long game for them. So, what is our best bet in this Big Ten matchup in the big noon kickoff game? Well, as we mentioned, the Buckeyes have a clear advantage with their offensive line in this one, and really at every position you look at, they have put up much better numbers than the Nittany Lions this season on both sides of the ball, and unless something drastic has happened to fix this team since that loss to Michigan, Ohio State should have no problem putting up points against them. So, as much as it kills us as Notre Dame fans to say this, with our first best bet of Saturday, we are going to take the Ohio State Buckeyes minus 14 and a half points over Penn State. Now, the next matchup we're going to look at is number nine, Oklahoma State versus number 22, Kansas State in that 3.30 Eastern time slot. Kansas State, one and a half point favorites at the moment, over under set at 55.5. Now, Oklahoma State comes into this matchup ranked ninth in the country after a thrilling win over Texas last week on the road. Once again, their offense has saved them because their defense has not been good this season. They have allowed 28.7 points per game 
and they have given up 300 plus yards per game through the air, which has led them to giving up 5.8 points per play. Now, their run defense has not helped them out either. They're giving up 146 yards on the ground per game and 448 rushing yards in the last two games alone. Somehow, this team has managed to win six games this year, and the only reason they're sitting at 6-1 and one right now is because of their offense. Spencer Sanders has put up some very good numbers this season with 2,000 passing yards and 15 touchdowns to go along with 353 rushing yards and eight rushing touchdowns. Five different receivers on this team have over 200 receiving yards. Three of them have over three touchdown catches, and all of them are averaging over 10 yards per catch. Now, the weaker part of the offense has been their running back is Dominic Richardson, only averaging 3.7 yards per carry, but Sanders' ability to run the ball has helped fill that hole. They're still putting up 153 rushing yards per game, which is pretty high considering how much they pass the ball. And on the other side of the field, they're going to have to take on a Kansas State team that comes into this matchup 5-2, and two, having their second loss of the season last week against TCU. One thing we took from that game is that Kansas State should seriously consider starting Will Howard over Adrian Martinez because of his passing ability. Martinez might actually be sidelined for this game anyway, but his backup, Will Howard, led their offense on a touchdown drive in his first drive of the season, and he ended the day 13-20 for 225 and two TDs. Kansas State has also looked very good running the football with Deuce Vaughn, who has 744 yards on the ground this season, and, but has only accounted for really four rushing touchdowns, so that's not good. But their offense has not lit up the scoreboard as much as Oklahoma State has, but they still have over 400 yards per game on offense, and with the way their defense has been playing this season, they can keep, compete with anybody really in college football. They're only giving up 197 Points per game in the secondary has held this defense together, only giving up 230 passing yards per game. Oklahoma State relies heavily on their passing attack to move the football down the field, so they're going to need Kansas State another big day out of that secondary. So what is our best bet for this Big 12 matchup in the 3.30 Eastern time slot? Well, now statistically, Kansas State has one of the best defenses the Cowboys will have to face this season, but apart from that, we're not buying into that. Oklahoma State has too many weapons for them to account for, and Kansas State has already given up 28 or more points to Oklahoma, Texas Tech, and TCU on the season. On the other side of the ball, the Cowboys' defense has been atrocious, and with or without Adrian Martinez playing, Kansas State has showed us they can still put up points with a Will Howard at quarterback. We think the books are putting a little too much faith in Kansas State's defense, so with our second best bet of Week 9 in college football, we're going to take Oklahoma State, Kansas State over 55 and a half points. Now, before we get into our third best bet of week nine, just a reminder that if you do want our full card of college football, head on over to grandstandbetters.com and become part of our family. As we mentioned, the link's below in the description. Join us today. We look forward to you being a part of our community real soon. But as we mentioned, we have one more bet in primetime, and that's between the number 19 Kentucky Wildcats taking on the number three Tennessee Volunteers. Volunteers, 11.5 point favorites here. The over-under set at 61.5. Kentucky Wildcats have played another solid season so far, but yet again have failed to win the big games, which would leave their mark on college football. Their two losses this season came in back-to-back -back weeks against Ole Miss in South Carolina, but they had a much-needed win last week against Mississippi State to get them back on track before this matchup. Now, the heart of this team has been their defense. They have only given up 178 passing yards per game, which is 14th in college football, and their run defense has also been performing at a big level, only giving up 100, uh, 820 rushing yards on the season. Now, those numbers are kind of crazy considering how little their front seven has produced a pass rush this season. Through seven games, they only have nine sacks total. They've been giving opposing quarterbacks a ton of time to run around in the pocket, and somehow that secondary has still managed to shut down opposing wide receivers. With their defense only giving up 16 points per game, you would think that this team should honestly be 7-0 given who they've played so far, but what holds them back is their offense. They're only putting up 26 points per game, and they cost themselves that game late in the fourth quarter against Ole Miss. 
quarterback. Will Levis looked phenomenal in his first four games of the season, but did miss that South Carolina matchup, and they're only putting up 260 passing yards per game right now. Russian attack also cooled off immensely as their leading rusher has 395 yards, and as a team, they're only averaging 3.1 yards per carry. Hopefully something clicks for them heading into this matchup because the only way to beat Tennessee is to outscore them. And speaking of Tennessee and the Vols, they are 7-0 on the season following that huge win over Alabama. They then decimated UT Martin 65-24 last week. Their offense has put up some insane numbers this year, which has them ranked first in yards per game, second in pass yards per game, and first in points per game, just a hair over 50. Now, Hayden Hooker is certainly making a case for himself as a Heisman Trophy finalist. He's got 2,100 yards passing, 18 touchdowns, and still has only thrown one interception all season on 194 passing attempts. Although he does not run the ball as much as a dual-threat quarterback usually does, he still has put up 315 rushing yards this season, which really helps to open up the rushing attack for guys like Jalen Wright and Jabari Small coming off or coming out of that backfield. In addition to those guys, Tennessee is loaded at wide receiver. They have six guys with double-digit receptions. Leading the way for them, though, is Jalen Hyatt. Now, no one has been able to stop this guy in the season. He has 769 receiving yards and 12 of the team's 23 receiving touchdowns. Now, with how good this team's offense has been this season, there is one part of the team, though, that is really struggling, and that is being overlooked, and that is their secondary. They're going up 329 passing yards per game. Kentucky has the quarterback and receivers to attack this secondary, so that should be and is something we are going to watch in this matchup. Speaking of this matchup, what is our best bet in this great primetime SEC game? Well, now as lights out as Tennessee's offense has been this season, we think Kentucky has the defense to at least stall them a bit in the matchup and keep this game close. The most points they have given up in a season is 24. And as we just mentioned, the Wildcats offense will undoubtedly attack the Vols' weak secondary and should have no problem putting together a few scoring drives in the game. We also think there's a very good chance that the Wildcats are in this game late with a chance to win or at least cover, or backdoor cover, something like that. So with our best bet for Week 9 in college football, we're going to take the Kentucky Wildcats plus 11.5 points over Tennessee. Well, that does it for us here at Grandstand Betters. As always, sit back, relax, enjoy week nine of college football, and we'll see you right back here, same place, same time, next week.